Hi, I'm Rick from Perceptive Software, and I'd like to show you how Perceptive Interact for Microsoft products might be used during a typical day at a construction company. In this example, I'm going to show some interactions between a hospital, a construction company, and a subcontractor they're working with to demonstrate how integrating Perceptive products into an environment built around Microsoft Enterprise applications can help you capture, store, manage, route, retrieve, and act on unstructured information when you need it. So imagine that a healthcare organization we'll call General Hospital is working with the construction company called Acme Construction. General Hospital emails Acme and says that they can have the job if they agree to the last change within the contract they've been sending back and forth. As we take a look, the first thing that Acme wants to do is capture the supporting email for the contract. Acme can simply navigate to the email, grab the email, and drag it to the target folder for General Hospital, where they will be asked for corresponding index information. We can see that it automatically captures corresponding information from the email. The user can then click Add, and we can see that that document has been captured. As I switch over to CRM, the user would then have the ability to see all of the documents stored in Perceptive Software right here from the opportunity. Quickly refreshing on the grid will show that email correspondence that I just captured. The user can then access the contract by simply double clicking on it. So it's at this point Acme can take action on this contract. Taking advantage of Perceptive's version control, the user can simply check out the document make a comment at this point and edit the document locally. Right here within the body of the content we can see that net 15. We can change that over to be net 30, save that document, check that document back in, and then route that forward in workflow. So it's at this point I can send it off for final review and approval or I can reject the contract. At this point, I'm going to route it forward. So after final review and approval, the Perceptive Workflow Engine will automatically send an email notification to General Hospital requesting a signature via Perceptive eAuthorize. General Hospital clicks on that email, and within the body of the email, we notice that there is a link connecting them to this contract signing event. So it is at this point that General Hospital can click on this signing event. As they click Begin Signing, it launches Perceptive eAuthorize where you'll notice they are guided through the signing process. They have the ability to review the document, they can send feedback back to Acme, or they can sign the actual document itself. Here I am agreeing to electronically sign this document. As I click Start Signing, that's going to take me directly to the signature block and walk me through the process. At this point, I will put my signature on the actual document. I am going to hit finish which completes my portion of the signing event where it's going to go back to Acme for dual execution. So as I switch back over to the sales hat we're going to see that we were notified that the contract was duly executed. This contract is automatically brought back into perceptive content where it will be available from any interface. As I switch back over and look at CRM we'll notice we have this executed contract. I simply double click on that, open that up and we can take a look and review that contract. In fact, Acme has access to these documents through all of Perceptive Software's clients including Interact for AX, CRM, Outlook, and SharePoint. As the project begins, it's time for Acme to send out the bid package. A document containing project specifications to prospective contractors via email. Following the bid deadline, Acme's contracting department starts reviewing the bids received from subcontractors. Thanks to Perceptive's technology, Acme's bid response email address is monitored, automatically pulling responses into the workflow for instant review. We'll notice that we've got three bids. As I actually click on the workflow, we can actually drill into the incoming bid section. Opening that up, I can review these documents in workflow where we'll notice the email body attached. I can actually click on the document that was attached and review the bid document. As our example continues, the project is underway. 
However, Acme's project manager learns that an outlet that is supposed to be a fourplex box is just a devil. Using perceptive forms, the project manager creates an RFI for the subcontractor. It is at this point he can click on a URL to take him directly to that form, where he'll fill out the necessary information for this request. After entering all the necessary information, the project manager then submits the form. As we can see, this form has been submitted successfully. The contractor receives an email notification that an RFI has been submitted for his review. At this point, the contractor reads the email and within the body of the email, he has a link to get back to that form. The nice thing is this user does not have to be part of the enterprise or have any kind of authentication into the system. They can simply fill out that form as is. Now the subcontractor would actually hit submit. So once the subcontractor submits the form, it is now visible within Perceptive's content workflow. The project manager receives a notification that the RFI is available for review. It is at this point he can click on workflow, actually take a look at the response, and approve it. The project manager will now simply place a stamp of approval on there and decide whether he wants to send this on to complete or request additional information. I am going to send this over to complete. This automatically triggers the change order that notifies the electrician via email that this RFI has been approved. While the project manager is out on site, he confirms that the outlet has been upgraded. As he documents his work with his mobile device, a picture is automatically captured and made part of this project back at the office. Let's take a look at what that would look like inside of Dynamics AX. Perceptive's Interact for Microsoft Dynamics AX provides a lot of information around content supporting each of these projects. We can see immediately, right here in the search grid, that there is a document indicator icon notifying the user that content supports this transaction. Another button you might notice is the Interact button up here in the ribbon. This provides the user the ability to capture content directly from within AX. And lastly, down here in the fact box pane, we have a neat and orderly file section that shows all content related to this project for General Hospital. If we actually expand out the photos folder, we can see the exact photograph that was captured by the project manager on site. By clicking on that content right here in the fact box pane, I get a document preview. I can actually just click on that preview to launch and take a look at that document in real size. First invoices collected in the mailroom are scanned through Perceptive's intelligent data capture powered by Brainware. The invoices are automatically indexed and the relevant data extracted to eliminate data entry. Let's take a look at that data that was extracted. As I actually come into Perceptive's workflow, what we're going to notice is we've got a copy of the invoice image on the left and the data as it was extracted via intelligent data capture. All of the relevant header and footer information for the invoice is right here in this electronic form where your users can take action on it. If there are no exceptions with the data, this data is automatically loaded into AX for processing. However, if we need to take action on the invoice, we can actually do it right here in Perceptive's workflow or we can pass the exception data as is for AX to handle. As I actually page down and take a look at the e-form in detail, we can see the line item information. That line item information is the invoice line item that was extracted and we have the ability to automatically pair invoice line items to the received but not invoice data allowing us to identify discrepancies at the line level. It's at this point that a user would actually interact with the form where they can select and say in this case that this line was on the actual invoice. They can drill into the received not invoice data and they can select the appropriate field where at this point we can now see that the total to be distributed is correct. When I validate this information, we find that there are no errors. At this point, I can route this invoice over to the upload queue where the data is uploaded into AX. This is also the same form technology used for non-PO based invoices where users can collect the dimensions relevant to this non-PO based invoice. And that's a quick look at how Perceptive products and solutions can work hand in hand with your Microsoft applications to bring transparency, accessibility, speed, and responsiveness to your daily routine. Thanks for watching.